Now, in news from India, it is a setback uh, for the Indian space uh, research. It's a setback for the Indian space ambitions as ISRO's PSLV C-62 mission encountered an anomaly during the third stage. The space agency has launched a detailed analysis to investigate the issue. The rocket carrying 16 satellites had lifted off at 10.17 a.m. local time from Sriharikota, having performed normally through the first two stages and separation as well. By the end of the third stage, there was a disturbance in the vehicle roll rates and a deviation in flight path was noticed then. And the performance of the vehicle close to the third stage was as expected and as predicted. And in the, close to the end of the third stage, we were seeing some disturbance in the vehicle. And uh, there was a deviation in the path of the vehicle. And uh, the mission could not proceed in the expected path. That is what is the information right now available. Now we are going, going through the data, and we have to get the data from all the ground stations. And once the data analysis is completed, we shall come back to you. Thank you. Well, the deviation mirrored the failure of PSLV's previous mission too. It was on 17th of May last year that the PSLV C-61 had lost chamber pressure dooming the launch of EOS-09 satellite. The mission was meant to be a comeback for PSLV known as ISRO's workhouse rocket. On both instances, ISRO lost million-dollar satellites when to serve national security purposes. This mission was facilitated by New Space India Limited, the commercial arm of ISRO. The primary satellite of this mission was EOS-N1 or Anvesha, which is an Earth observation satellite built by India's Defence Research Development Organisation, the DRDO. The EOS-N1 is a hyperspectral imaging satellite, which means that it can see much more than a human eye or even conventional optical imaging satellite. In addition to imaging uh, the Earth in detail, the satellite can specifically identify and differentiate between the mineral materials that it sees. There were also 15 other satellites on board. Seven satellites of these were from India, two from Europe, five from Brazil and one from Nepal. And many of these satellites are from academia or startups and they are meant to demonstrate unique experiments in space. space. Today's launch saw dense PSLV's success legacy rate. Before 2025, it had powered 63 uh, prior uh, flights, successfully including Chandrayaan-1 and Aditya L1. ISRO is yet to make public the uh, report of the Failure Analysis Committee for last year's mission.